from Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. It's a special Thanksgiving night presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Pittsburgh Steelers taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. It is a cold night in western Pennsylvania as we bring you inside Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh. Moments ago, a scene that's played here since 2004. Big Ben Roethlisberger greeted by this sold-out Heinz Field crowd. His Steelers getting set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. The streak continues, doesn't it? They come in a perfect 10-0. And, and it's not just that they're winning, it's how they're winning. All phases of the game coming together for this team. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. The Steeler offense set to go to work, and once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's caught inside the 25. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. A big play there on the first play of the game. 56 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone now here's a look for the end zone but that one's going to wind up incomplete Juju Smith-Schuster the intended receiver that'll bring up second down To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. For Vance McDonald. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. With these Thursday night games, sometimes you get those quick turnarounds. You wonder how a team is going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has a, you know the overall health of a team. But mentally, if you get that early edge, the other team might think to itself, ah, it's been a short week. We're not really ready to go. You might run them into the ground that way. That's why getting that early score means a lot. Now, these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. The drive summary that time, five plays. And was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line.
Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. The return man, Chris Moore. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Chris Moore on the return. The, the number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he stopped immediately there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 47-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. And his throw is incomplete. Mark Andrews, a first-time pro bowler, the intended target. And it's third down. Minka Fitzpatrick on the coverage. Jackson now. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. An option run with Ingram. He'll get about four here down to the 43 yard line. Taken down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. 
from the gun, Jackson. Throw left side complete. It's Ingram. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Again, Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And that'll be off the crossbar and out. It's short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Steelers to take over on offense. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And now off to the races, down the right side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Extra point now by Boswell. Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. All right, Gardner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. This one taken just inside the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And they were in field goal range last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drive and not the Jackson hit, and he lost the football. Jackson on the keeper. Fumble on the play. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, 
had an alert teammate who was able to get it. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run the option as Jackson will hand it to Ingram. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 15. Ravens 2. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice with the encore. You know 